everyone, it's Jen from Creative Housewives. You can also find us at Cricut Inspiration on Instagram where we talk specifically about Cricut and all the projects that we're making there. Today I am so excited to teach you about the new insert cards that work with the card mat for Explore and Maker machines. Now, it has been a process today, so you're gonna wanna pay attention and then I will come back at the end and I will walk you through some of the highlights. But how cute are these cards? So today I'm going to teach you how to create your own insert card design so that when you are using the card mat, you don't have to cut out the same card four times. If you want to do that, that's great. It's even easier to do, but I'm gonna teach you how to create designs that are insert cards that will allow you to cut out four different types of cards all at the same time. Okay, before we jump into making our designs in Design Space, I want to show you these very important measurements here. So the card size that I have, this will be different if you have a different card. The R40 is 4.75 by 6.6. .6 and the insert is 4.5 by 6.4. These are important to know before we start designing. All right, now that we know the correct sizes that we need for the cards that I have, we're gonna jump in here into design space and I'm gonna show you, first I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna click over here to projects. If I click on projects, maybe something will happen. I'm gonna come up here to all categories and I am going to search insert cards. There is no option yet in the insert cards for the ready to make projects to select multiple cards. I'm hoping that changes and it will be like designs or like the images where you can select multiple and put it on your canvas. I'm hoping we'll have the opportunity to select multiple and put them on our card mat. So I'm just going to select a card, this birthday cat card. So if I, it says size square 40, the square, there's just the one size right now. So I'm just showing you, if you drop that down, if you have the rectangle, there are a variety of sizes. So if I select make it, <clears throat> you can see that it's going to take me straight to that matte screen. So it's because I have an insert card project selected. It says that, you know, assumes rightfully that I will be using um, the insert card mat and you can go over here and change it. If you're not using the card mat, you can say, I don't know why you would choose without a mat for the insert cards, but whatever. You can say on mat if you just wanted to use this image and cut it out with something else. We are obviously staying on the card mat and our material size is the S40. So you want to make sure that you change that because it didn't default, even though this project was an S40, it didn't default. So it had it in the middle of the image. Go ahead and change that to your actual size. But as you can see, I can only cut out this card right now. I can go ahead and I can up this to four and hit apply and I can cut out four of these and I can use different colors. For birthday cards, I think this is great, but maybe you don't need four wedding cards or for Mother's Day cards. So we're gonna go and learn how we can make multiple cards and cut them out at once. So I'm gonna go ahead and select cancel and I'm going to close this and I am going to, I'm just gonna type in, so I'm in insert cards. So you can, I can now search within the insert cards, which is awesome. So I can type in birthday. <clears throat> And it's going to show me just birthday insert cards. So for instance, we have this birthday card. So this is the birthday cake card and this is the birthday cactus card. So the way we're going to be able to make multiple at a time is we're going to search for images like these. There isn't an image for every insert card, but if you're patient, you can find a lot of them because I want to show you like unlike some of the other ready to make projects. Unfortunately, if you come in here for like birthday cactus cards, it doesn't show me the images used. On the other ready to make cards, it does tell you that. I'm not 100% sure why they don't with these, but with these ones, they don't. So what I'm going to do is I am going to click on images 
and I am going to search, insert cards, corner. So that's the first thing that we need, is we need the insert card corner. You could go back in and find exactly which ones they had. I'm not overly concerned about it. I am just going to select two because my corners aren't that important to me for this particular demonstration. But so see, this is what I need them to be able to do with the cards, just to be able to select multiple because I can select two of these. I can hit add to canvas and it puts both of them on my canvas for me. <coughs> and then I'm going to just separate them. And we're going to get these here. <clears throat> and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select images. And now I'm going to select birthday, or I'm going to search birthday cactus. And you can see this is the same image that's used on that card. I can select this and I can add it to my canvas. And now I can go back one more time to images and I can select birthday cake. And we can grab this image, which is also the same image that was on that card. So I can select both of those. So now I have all of my images <clears throat> for my two cards here on my canvas. Obviously, if I was making four, I would go ahead and grab more cards. So now this is where those measurements come in to importance. I'm gonna come up here to shapes or over here to shapes. I'm going to select square because I want the nice square corners. I'm gonna come up here to size. I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to type in my card size is 4.75 and the width is 6.6. .6. So now I have my card. The next thing I need to do is I need to do this again. I'm going to go again to shapes. <clears throat> I'm going to select square again. And this is just to give you a visual. You don't technically have to do this, but this will give you a good visual. I'm going to change the color so it's easy to see. And now I'm going to change this rectangle to my width is 4.5 and my height is 6.4. <clears throat> so now this is the measurement of my insert card. So now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to select basic cut or both of my squares that are now rectangles. And I'm going to come up here to a line and I am going to center them. So now I have both of those <clears throat> and they are centered exactly right. So now I'm gonna select my corner. Oh, that's gonna select my image. We can go ahead and bring that to the front too. Bring to front. And now I need my corner guys. So I need to bring them to front. <clears throat> and what I need to do, did those bring to front? No, they did not. I need to make them the size. Uh, why is it not bringing those to the front? Bring to front. There we go. I need to make those the same size as my pink rectangle. So I need to unlock again. My width needs to be 4.5 and my height needs to be 6.4. And hit enter. So now, now if I select my corners there, and my square and my square and hit align and hit center. You can see that those corners line up perfectly. This is going to make it so your insert actually fits inside your corners. I did not do this the first time. I don't know why. I just kind of eyeballed it based on my <clears throat> background rectangle and that did not work. So now I'm gonna select this cute little friend, our cactus. We're gonna bring him all the way. Nope, I want him. It's trying to, I'm gonna send him to the front. <clears throat> and I can resize him, make him bigger. So he takes up more of this card since he's the star of the show. I wanna make sure that none of my drawing pieces go into my corners. So now I'm gonna select all of these layers Select all of them. So you can see over here on the side, I have cactus with birthday, insert card corners, both squares. I'm gonna click align and I'm going to click center. So that is going to put everything right where it needs to be. You can see I'm still safe here on my corners. And now I can 
I could hide these back pieces, <clears throat> but I'm going to use them to do the same thing over here. So what I'm going to do is for this cactus card, I want it to be, um, I'm, I'm going to do it on a green card. So I just want to make sure that I'm going to pick a green pen so that it doesn't cut out the same over here. So now I'm going to click cactus with birthday and insert card corners and I'm going to attach those. I want those to stay friendly with each other. So now I can take my squares over here and I can move them. They're already the right sizes. So I can move them over here. I can send it to the back and I can send it to the back. And if you don't need, actually I wanna bring this forward one. If you don't need this um, pink one, like I just like being able to see that it's right, if that makes sense. So now I'm gonna come down here I'm going to select both of these. I'm going to align them centered. I just like being able to see that my corners are connected to the edges there. So for these corners, again, I need to come up here. I need to resize. My width needs to be 4.5 and my height needs to be 6.4. And I can take these, oops. Can take these guys and move them here and then I can click on my cake and I'm gonna change this color to I, I am gonna do this in like a cute mauvey pink so I'm gonna select pen and I'm gonna just change it that way this by changing the color it doesn't matter what color you change it to you just want to make sure why don't I have a pink option um that pink's kind of bright you just want to make sure that you change it so that it prompts you to change the pen. Otherwise, it's gonna draw just with the same pen all the way across. All right, and now I can resize my cake here. Now that I have my pen changed. And again, I'm just eyeballing this. I want it to take up a healthy amount. And now we're gonna select all of these layers. And again, we're gonna go here to align and center. And it has them arranged. So now see, those are kind of close to me. And I think it just looks a little weird. I understand that this is as far from here. But I feel like that looks a little bit weird. So I am just going to select just the birthday cake. And I'm going to just raise it up a little bit. So it's just a little bit farther away from those bottom corners. All right. So now I can take my birthday cake here and my card corners here. And I'm going to select both of those. And again, I'm going to select attach. So now I don't need... I don't need to cut these out. I already have my sizes, but now I have my two cards that are ready to go. So I'm using an Explore 3. I'm going to go ahead and click Make It. And it's going to put these on to... Why is it not giving me the card mat as an option? Hold on. Let's go back. Let's try this again because this worked last time. Okay, this has been a very interesting last half an hour of my life trying to figure out what is going on here in Design Space. Design Space, currently we're running version 7.7.177. A new version is coming out tomorrow. I'm really hoping it's going to fix these problems, but if it doesn't, then at least we have a workaround for the moment. So I have already today made cards that had the insert cards at the wrong measurement, like the insert card corners at the wrong measurement. Made them, worked great, sent to my mat screen with no problem and um, to the card mat. So like when I clicked make it, it sent it straight to the card mat with no problem at all. As you can see right now, it is not giving me the card mat as an option. So we're gonna go ahead and go back. Um, so when I realized that I had my insert card corners at the wrong measurement, I went back in and I changed one to fit and it fit perfectly fine. 
But here we are now running into this problem where it's not allowing us to cut. I have tried everything. I have shut down my computer. I have shut down Design Space. I have reached out to friends. Shout out to Angie at The Country Chic Cottage and Sydney at Tastefully Frugal. They were also in trying to figure out what's going on. The only thing that we could figure out was that by setting this size to the 4.5, so up here, the 4.5, <coughs> it was measuring too big. So by trial and error, we have found that if we drop this down to 4.48, so we gotta hit enter and leave it locked so your height and width changes that little bit. I'm gonna come over to this one here. I am going to select here and I'm going to say 4.48. I'm going to hit enter. And now when I hit make it, still using the Explorer 3, when I hit make it, it does give us the card mat as an option. But we have another weird thing that didn't happen earlier happening, which is that now it's cutting it to two different or kicking it to two different card mats. Luckily, that's an easy fix. Just hit the three dots, say move object, and then we're gonna click and put it on this card mat, say confirm, all is well. My pen is still this color, my pen is still this color. Even when I had, because I did try in my process here, setting them both to the same color, it still kicked them to two mats. I'm not 100% sure why. But now that we have them here on the card mat, we can jump over to the machine and show you what it looks like for the rest of the process. So I really wanna say things like, hey, we're back again, but I'm not showing you the video of all the mishaps that we had. Maybe we'll save that for a uh, blooper reel, but we are here. I have my card mat on my computer and here. So I want my cute little cactus to be green and my birthday cake one to be pink. So I am going to go ahead. Oops, sorry, I bumped on the camera. I am going to grab a green and a pink. And then the pen colors that I picked to match these that look cute with them. So this is Jade and this one is the pink crystal and that is from <clears throat> the Ultimate Fine Point pen set. So I don't know if they come in any of the smaller sets. You can always just use black for all of them. That's perfectly fine as well. I have my scraper tool, we'll need that after and I had everything organized at one point and then I had to start moving everything around. I have my brayer, very important, especially with card mat and my spatula. So these are going to be our friends. So I have my mint colored card. And so what you do is if you haven't used a card mat before, if you don't have the joint and you haven't used a card mat before, they look like this. <coughs> they actually come with these covers on them. It's kind of nice with these ones, actually. I don't know how well you'll be able to tell here. This side is a pretty matte finish, and this side is shiny, which will help you know which side is down. You want to always put these back on your mat when you're not using it so that you can, uh, it keeps dust and everything from it. But there is a little slot here on the side. So I am going to just slide my card into that. Okay, I'm gonna have to put it down to do it to show you. But so you just slide it under that. So it slides in right here. And we want to make sure that it is all the way to the top and pressed in as far as it can go. And then I'm just gonna quickly just press it down with my fingers. Then I'm gonna take my pink card and I'm going to do the same thing here on this side. I'm going to slide it in. I'm going to slide it up as far as it'll go and as far in as it'll go. And then I'm going to use my brayer to make sure it is pushed down really well. With the Cricut Joy, one of the biggest complaints that we had was people, that we heard, I should say, was that people were having a problem with their um, cards like lifting because this adhesive is made for your card to come off of easy. So it's not crazy sticky. Um, but I was gonna show you, hopefully this will focus here. See how I'm a little bit above my blue line there? I really don't want that. So I'm going to use my spatula. I'm gonna just get under the corner a little bit so that I can lift this back up and slide it down just a little bit. We want it all the way to the top, but we don't want it above that top line because especially when it comes to the corners, you don't want your corners cutting too close to the edge. 
on either side, which is why it's important to just take the time and just get it lined up right where it needs to be. It looks like this one is a little above as well. So we'll go ahead and we'll just slide this down just a tiny touch. Okay, now we'll use our brayer, stick it down really well. And now you can see that it's like right on the line on both of them, not above. So now we are going to grab our computer. We have our card mat. We're gonna go ahead and select continue. It's gonna to talk to my machine for a moment. Hopefully not a very long moment. I have insert card start, insert card card stock already as one of my favorites here for this machine. You can always hit browse all materials and look for these. This is the um, setting that you will use if you're using the Cricut um, insert cards. All right, so now it's telling us move star wheels to center of rail, making sure to align with the middle column of the card mat. So I have already done this. If you don't know, these are the star wheels. These little on my, this machine, they're white, these little things. So you can see when I set this here and line it up, they are lined up with the middle. They are not going to be running over the cards. And please, I don't know if you just saw that. Like when you touch that, can you see that it like left a little black on my nail? So there is like, just don't touch your card if your fingers touch that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. Oh, it's telling us here on the screen to load our mint pen, mint pen first. I'm not using mint, I'm using jade. It doesn't matter um, what color you select, you just put in whatever color you want. So I always put my finger under this and we're gonna listen for the click. So you want to make sure you push down until it clicks, go ahead and close, and then I'm going to hold this here against the wheels and hit the load button. <coughs> now the machine is going to um, do all of our drawing first. So it's going to go through, do the jade drawing or the mint that the machine thinks it is on the green card, then it's going to stop. Okay, it's all in, let's go ahead and push play. It's going to stop and then it is going to ask us to insert our other pen. So we will do that. And I will just let this run so that we can like speed it up just a little bit. Okay, so we can see here, it's just telling us to load our pink pen in. So we're going to unload this pen, put the lid on, make sure you hear the click. You don't want your pens drying out. And then again, just put our finger underneath, click, hold it in. You wanna hold your finger underneath, especially cause you'll see this stopped over on this card. If you press down hard, you can actually press down and end up touching the card. So that's another reason that it's great to hold your finger under. Okay, so now it's finished drawing and it's just going to go ahead and it's going to cut out all of our design. All right, we are done. I'm going to take my pen out. Put the lid on, set them to the side. We're gonna go ahead and select unload. We're gonna close this up for a moment and slide it back. All right, so now when it comes to removing from your card mat, this is what we're gonna do. I'm going to use my spatula again. I'm going to just get under the corner. Now, <coughs> I want you to notice like how close on some of these corners the cut can be. So this is why we wanna go nice and slow you just want to get in here, get underneath it, and lift so that you don't rip any of the corners. So I'm just gonna slide this. You don't wanna scrape your mat a lot because you don't wanna run the risk of scraping off adhesive. And that's the same when it comes to like cleaning your mat and stuff. Just scrape enough to get off what you need to get off. You don't need to scrape adhesive off. Okay. So we have this card off. All right, 
So we have all our little spots removed. <coughs> Sorry about my cough. Oh, we got one more little spot here. Okay, we got all those removed. Now we're gonna come over here to our birthday cake and we're just gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna slide under all the way around. And then once you get underneath it, you can just use two hands if you want and just peel back, trying not to curl it too much. If you end up with any curling, that's a pretty easy fix. You just kind of bend it back the other direction. Okay, now we have both of our cards and we have our iridescent fun shiny inserts. So even though we had to change our size a little bit, you can see that the inserts do still fit. So we're going to add that in and add that in here. Okay, so we've got this one done and let's grab one more insert. We can add it to this card. And it takes just a second. You just wanna take your time making sure that you're not being too rough on these corners where you might have something rip. Okay, look how cute they are. Totally worth the trial and error, at least for me to do them. Now you don't have to deal with the trial and error. Um, and I will go through and I will figure out what, oh, I got a little something on that insert card, um, what the sizes are right now that you can cut for these different cards. But I wanted to show you really quick. This is another quick tip that I learned while working with this card mat. You want to, so you'll use your scraper to remove all of these little pieces. You wanna to scrape to the top, or if you were down here, you could scrape to the bottom. Because if you scrape to the sides, you have like these little um, like areas that are lower where you slide the card in and your little pieces can get stuck down in there. So just take your scraper. Again, you're adding just enough pressure to lift off the cardstock, but not so much that you have to worry about the, um, that you're taking off the adhesive. So we'll go ahead and finish getting all of this off. Whoops. Stick into my scraper. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our um, protectors and we're just gonna add them back on top, lining up with this one size and then side, and then it'll go all the way across. And then remember, it's the shiny side down, which is awesome on this, and you can actually tell the difference. And we'll go ahead and add this one back. And now we've got that protected. Um, another quick tip, if you ever end up with like how I was just having um, the paper stick to this, you can see there's a little adhesive on there. So that will cause things to stick. Um, a little like rubbing alcohol prep pad type thing. We'll take that off without any problem at all. What do you think? I think they're so cute. I love them. Okay, what did you think? It was a little bit of a learning curve today, but I think we figured it out. A way for at least to make it work for at least to make it work. That didn't really make sense. At least a way to make it work for now. Remember that we are using version, I believe it was version 7.7.177 or something like that. Cricut, if you're in design space today, they have announced that there is going to be maintenance on the 5th. So I am really hopeful on May 5th, I am really hopeful that that is going to fix some of the problems that we're having today. So just as a reminder, number one, in order to make your own or in order to cut out four different images, you um, have to create your own insert card. You can't use any of the ready to make ones. If you want to cut out multiple of the same card, you can obviously change the colors of the card have four different colors and of the same card and that's great, not a problem. But if you're wanting to make use of your time with the card mat and be able to cut out multiple cards, then you want to um, you want to be able to design your own. So that's what we talked about today. We ran into some troubles where, like originally I told you to pay attention to the size of your insert card because that was going to be really important. But then once we had set things to the size of the insert card, one time it worked just fine for me and the next time it wouldn't allow it to cut to the card mat. So um, so you're gonna have to probably play with it depending on the size of your card. I know my friend Angie over at the Country Chic Cottage 
said that it worked for her by decreasing um, her image a quarter of an inch all the way around from the card size. So that's an option. Um, I got a little bit more room with mine by just like doing it by 0 0.01 increments at a time until it would fit on there. And you're gonna have to do that with all the cards right now. My hope is with the update that they're going to just allow us to select multiple cards and send them to be made onto the mat. Fingers crossed, right? I mean, it seems like it makes sense to just make it like the images are where we can select multiple. We don't have to be able to mess with them, um, but select multiple, send them right to the card mat, cut out four different ones at the same time. So that's my hope. I'm keeping my fingers crossed for that. I'm sorry that you've been dealing with, as I say it, <coughs> my cough and uh, stuffiness today. The allergies that I thought were yesterday or what I thought was allergies yesterday has turned into a full-fledged cold today. I'm going to blame it on the weird weather we're having here in Utah. But if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments. I am going to go ahead and link to um, Angie and Sydney. Sydney's over at Tasteful, Tastefully Frugal and Angie's at the Country Chic Cottage. They are both um, working with the card mat also. And um, I know that they've had to do some of their own troubleshooting and stuff as well. So as soon as their videos are up, I'll go ahead and add those to, um, to the caption here so that you can look go look at theirs too um but yeah if you have any questions leave them in the comments i still do think this is awesome i think that there are some bugs that we're gonna have to work out for probably the next week or so but i am still very excited about the card mat and i hope you are too have a wonderful rest of your day bye